So I'm back with John again this morning. Um, just a very quick interview, just to see how we're going on and catch up. I'll be coming back later on today. Uh, so you're pretty much finishing off the wash and the, the actual scenery itself today, yeah? That's right. I'm hoping to get the this section of the landscape completely finished so that tomorrow I can start putting in the wildlife and the other little bits and pieces, yeah. Oh, we're going to be doing some time lapse because when we did the cows, that was really interesting, seeing them develop. So we're going to be seeing all sorts of things, aren't we? Voles and... <laughs> some and swans, swans and wildfowl. And... Yeah, all the things you would expect to find on the levels which are going to bring this landscape pretty much to life, I guess. I hope so, yeah. It's like a peaceful, tranquil scene at the moment, but to have it populated with a few uh, little points of interest, wildlife, I think, will really bring it out. Yeah, that's, that's beautiful, because I'm, I'm looking forward to seeing that, because it's, you know, it's, it's a beautiful scene, but just having something in there to give it, you know, to give it yeah. life. Yeah, it's like those, life. when you were kids doing those action transfer books, yes. and you have the scene, and then you have all the things, you know, right, where am I going to put yes. everything? Yeah. So it's a little bit like that. So have you, have you got an idea where things are going to go? Or you I have no idea. Painting dictates. Wh when I go. look at it, I'll stand over there, have a look, and then work out little places where it would be suitable, make sure the compositions are nice, so mm. the way you, I move through the picture to the different things works. Mm. So will Mookie Mouse be going in? Okay. I <laughs> John, it's been an uh, absolute pleasure to talk to you again. I'm off to go and do some bits and pieces and I'll see you later on today. Fantastic, thank you very much. Cheers. This is the sunset wash going on, yeah? Yeah, it's just a strong colour to uh, bring the foreground closer so it's a warmer colour. Yeah. It also unifies all the little bits of white that are left over because of the texture of the wall. Uh -huh. So then I can actually decide where I'm going to highlight rather than uh, Have it rely on the, the wall. Yeah. <laughs> so I will go over this with darker and darker colours, uh, more detail for the reeds, but it's just to get a kind of a unifying tint. So I've got to ask, when you go to an electrician house, none of the electrics work. When you go to a plumber's house, the taps all leak. So when we come to your house... When you go to an artist's house, it's totally beautiful. <laughs> I just thought I'd ask that question. No, it really, it really, uh, my house has to be like, nice. I've got all things laying on. Oh, like, good man. Crystals and objects and then it's like natural. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Because that obviously influences your work, doesn't it? That's that that sort of love influences how you paint, I guess. Yeah, it does. Yeah, I mean, I've always loved like nature and um, you know things that are from nature. But um, being in an environment where you feel comfortable in and surrounded by things that you love, beautiful things, then it just affects your whole mentality. So do you paint your walls? Have you got murals on your walls? Absolutely not. I don't have any of my work up in my house. Right. I like different kinds of art, so I like um, textiles, applied arts, prints. Yeah. Um, things that I wouldn't do. Mm. Yeah. Yeah. Right, that's about it. A little longer than a few minutes later. Another admirer comes to talk to John while he's painting. This mural has really brought the community together. Hello again, John, and another interview. You must be getting fed up with these. It's very nice to see you, Gabriel. <laughs> so, you've had a day pretty much finishing that panel, and it looks stunning. Thank you, yeah, that was the objective, and it's pretty much there today now, yeah. So it's ready to start putting in the wildlife tomorrow. Mm. I can see the work you've done on the reeds and the water feature there, and it's, it's got so much depth, this panel now. Yeah, thanks. The idea is, is to make it look real enough that you can start placing the, the wildlife, the swans and the other things that are going to go in there. So it, you have to kind of get a sense of the actual physicality of it rather than just being paint. Mm. And it, it certainly does do that. I mean, 
through the camera lens here in, in certain aspects it looks like a photograph well <laughs> that's nice because it's really about judging tonal balance that's what makes something look real or Absolutely. not it's not detail it's more the tone mm. so tomorrow we start oh i say we <laughs> tomorrow you can you, help as well if you thank like. you very much tomorrow you start painting the the critters in as they would that's say. right yeah i'm gonna yeah. start with some swans and some wild fowl on the water here okay and then i'm kind of gonna work down this way putting uh, maybe a water bowl, a hair, putting his head out of the grass, and, yeah. you know, bits and pieces. Are any of them going to be sort of hidden so that you have to look for them while they're going to be fairly obvious? Well, I would think that probably you will have to look for them. They will be obvious, but I think when people look at the whole thing, you kind of take a while to actually notice the details. Excellent, there's going to be a dog in there, I understand. <laughs> there is. Kim, who runs the mural trail, it's the least I can do to put her little sparky in there. <laughs> Little Sparky, he's a star, excellent. Yeah. Well, fantastic. Thank you very much for talking to us again. Uh, this is the, I believe, eighth or the ninth video I've made today, so I'm running out of titles. I'll have to think of something, um, but I will think of something. But in the meantime, thank you very much again for talking to us and bringing us up to date. And the panel is looking beautiful. So you can, we can now say that the, the image is pretty much finished. It's just population now. Yeah, pretty much. I will, each piece of wildlife, I will do a little bit of detail in the background around it, which will give it more sense of like really being in the place. mural. Yeah. And so there the, the will be kind of slightly more realism in areas, but really so that the, the wildlife blends in. Yeah. So ladies and gentlemen, if you're coming down here today and you're popping past, you can pretty much see the finished image without the uh, wildlife. That's correct. Well, thank you, John. I'm going to leave you to it because you want to go home now, have a nice cup of tea and uh, not think about painting for a few hours. And I want to go home and edit this video and not think about editing for a few hours. So thanks again and we'll see you tomorrow for some credit action. You're welcome. Bye-bye. <laughs>